Welcome. Uh, this is another edition of Mama Boards by AppsFlyer. My name is Vladimir Golander. I'm the head of media technology at 360i, which is a fully integrated agency specializing in uh, media technology, MarTech, and analytics. Uh, and today we're going to talk about why brands need a mobile measurement partner. So before we get into why brands need a mobile measurement partner, and we'll call it an MMP for short, I really want to elaborate on the word brand. And in today's conversation, it's really about any organization that could be mobile first, mobile centric, has an app, or maybe even thinking about having an app uh, in the future. So with this in mind, we're going to talk about how uh, that concept is going to trickle down into why MMPs are important. So in, in today's day and age, uh, it's really not about, uh, with such information, such proliferation of information, it's really not about big data anymore. It's about right data. So everything we're going to be talking about specifically is going to be centered around this concept of right data. So when you think about technology, any technology in the space, uh, the intended purpose behind any of it is to really solve a, a business problem. And we do that through specific insights that the technology provides. And the underpinning of all of that is good measurement. So when you talk about uh, the MMP space and why uh, brands might need a mobile measurement provider, it, it's really about how we have to create an enablement layer. And that enablement layer is really about how it, it gives us information at our fingertips at the core uh, and be able to solve, uh, inform, influence, and solve business challenges. And arguably, uh, that's what us as marketers are, uh, are after as the holy grail uh, with, with, with technology specifically. So when you talk about the concept of right data, uh, by layering on an MMP, it really gives you uh, more transparency and more visibility into what people are doing, what your consumers are doing in the app space. Uh, whether that's specifically you know, the events that they interact with, the user flows that they interact with, uh, or it being more a lower funnel conversion or sales type uh, actions. Um, and it's really all about how we can tie that into the larger ecosystem with, the lar with other digital channels specifically as well. Uh, getting into more of the transparency and visibility, it's also about uh, crafting more consumer journeys and looking at, the, uh, at this through the lens of true attribution. So looking at this through the lens of consumer journeys and true attribution, one of the other takeaways as to why MMPs are important is specifically around gleaning insights of what consumers are doing within the app. So we talked about that a little bit, but also more about how you know, in, the, in, in the time of a mobile-centric world, uh, if organizations or brands are spending money in mobile, uh, or mobile apps specifically, and they're not able to answer specific questions as to how those initiatives or campaigns ladder up to larger initiatives or how they're performing or how they're part of a larger media mix, uh, then it's not a focused approach. And the idea is that we as marketers can't fly blind when we're stewarding clients' dollars. So the idea is to uh, leverage MMP as the enablement layer to provide a level of insight. So as we get into when brands or organizations might need an MMP, the biggest macro question uh, they can ask themselves is, what is mobile's role in your business? Uh, and the next set of questions is really going to be designed to get you started on your journey to see if you actually need an MMP as part of your tech stack. So some of these questions really are around, you know, do you have a consumer facing app? If not, do you have plans to, to put one in market? Uh, what are you asking consumers to do? Is it going to be more awareness driven? Is there going to be lower funnel conversion or sales type of tactics? Uh, specifically speaking, uh, for mobile and app usage, you know, if you currently have an app, how much are you asking your consumers to interact with it? Uh, all of these play a really big role and part of the equation as to when an organization might need an MMP or that enablement layer that we talked about. Specifically speaking, one of the biggest takeaways from here is really about you know, cross-device and anomaly channel approaches. You know, from an attribution standpoint, uh, being able to tie in an environment that was once closed off into the larger ecosystem is really important for any one organization so that they can tell what role mobile should play within their business. So as we think about when brands might need an MMP, and looking into what is mobile's role in your business specifically, uh, we have to think about blind spots. And then those blind spots as it relate to attribution and measurement. So going off of a, on a limb and making a slight assumption, if your organization might not have an MMP layer, you might not be able to answer the following sample questions. And those include things like, if you're spending in mobile and mobile apps specifically, can you measure? Do you have advanced analytics functions that can help you assess how media is contributing to LTV and ROI? And at the end of the day, as an industry, we're moving away and relying less and less on the cookie space. So with that in mind, do you have a technology layer in place to help you aggregate device IDs for audience management and uh, remessaging. So this brings us to a really quick story that I wanted to share uh, around a big box retailer, and we'll call them Brand X for now. 
Uh, the retailer came to us and said, look, we have a very large media footprint. We spent a lot of money in the space. We have a consumer-facing app. We sell a lot of products within the app, but we still yet can't answer several questions uh, that our CMO is asking. Some of those questions include, what role should mobile play uh, as part of the larger media mix? How media is influencing app usage? And three specifically around how apps are contributing to sales. If your organization has specific questions or similar questions that Brand X had, then an MMP might be uh, part of the solution for your organization. But in order to do that, we really need to create an enablement layer. And that layer is going to be comprised of technology and measurement. But more so specifically, it's going to introduce a new element of intelligence within your organization that's going to give you insight into a number of items. And those items are listed here as it relates to tying media to consumer behaviors, either within the app or through cross-device initiatives. It's also going to uh, assist with audience building and management, whether we want to leverage device IDs for audience management and retarget them through different parts of your tech stack, the opportunity is there. We also can be thinking about advanced analytics functions where we can assess LTV and ROI and be able to really introduce a new concept of uh, consumer longevity and value over time to your organization. So we talked about a number of things today. We talked about why MMPs are important. We talked about when brands might need an MMP. But when you boil it down, it comes down to two things. First and foremost, technology. I get a lot of questions from clients these days around, hey, does the tech even exist? And it absolutely does. It evolves, it's evolving over time, and it's getting better and better and stronger from a measurement perspective. The second piece, which we're diving into, is more of the measurement piece, is how technology needs to enable better measurement so that we as marketers can glean insights and help our clients solve larger business initiatives. So with that in mind, we really hope that this information sets you on your journey into the MMP space. That's it for today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, if you want to watch other Mama boards, please subscribe here. Thank you. Bye-bye.